This is Matt Matros again with my second video from the $200 rebuy event, No Limit Hold'em event, and the World Championship of Online Poker. Uh, this is now the second level after the rebuy period. My first video was the first level after the rebuy period. So now we're moving onward and upward. You can see I've got about 8,300 in chips, which is still a pretty healthy stack. I get a playable hand in early position, ace-queen offsuit, and in early position, I make minimum raises. That is my style. So we'll see if we get any action. Those who saw the first video know it's been a pretty slow table. A lot of people taking a long time to make decisions, which uh, that actually that kind of thing bothers me more than bad beats do. I kind of get annoyed by slow opposition at the poker table, but I try not to let it affect my play, and we get no action on the first hand. It's the way we like it, usually. Winning the blinds is usually a good thing. What do you know? Another playable hand in early position, ace, king, and diamonds. Make the same minimum raise. See if we get a little more action this time. And again, uh, I like to make small raises because I don't mind the action. I open from early position with strong range of hands. I don't mind having people play with me. So let's see what happens. We get a call from X2 then, as well as the baddest. And another call from Woo Kid. So this is going to be a little pot here. So you can see there's 1,400 in the pot. And I got about 8,200 in my stack, and I felt a pretty strong hand, two over cards and the nut flush draw. This is the kind of hand, ideally, you want to be the one putting all the chips in as a raise, trying to get someone to fold. So you want to have both fold equity, and you want to have the opportunity to see all five cards if you're going to end up playing the hand. You don't want to end up having to fold uh, if you can help it. You want to try to be the all-in raiser. So my idea here was to check raise all in, uh, hoping someone would bet about 1200 or 1300 so that I can move in for 8200. Unfortunately, X2 then only bet about 800, which a little less than I would have liked. I was hoping to pick up some more money with a check raise, assuming my opponent folded. But I'm still staying with my plan here. I'm still going to go with the plan of check raising all in for that $800 bet. I didn't want to lead out for, say, 1000 myself. Because now if an opponent makes the 3000 or 3500 or something like that, I really don't have a lot of fold equity on my re-raise for 4500 more. So I was trying to engineer the betting in such a way that I had the maximum amount of fold equity. And as you might have guessed, uh, hit the diamond. Yay. Ace-King of Diamonds is actually the best.